Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on, well, actually in this next couple of videos here, probably going to do three different videos for this, I'll be covering my Oracle Think Tank decks. I completely forgot to post these uh, back in April when uh, Extra Booster 7 came out, which brought forth the Magus, the Magus cards, and it also brought uh, a, ba a huge update to the existing Battle Sister subclan. Um, so what I did is, well, I used to have Scarlet Witch Cocoa, which I'll probably also have to film in a future video, but I took my Scarlet Witch Cocoa, which is Soulless build, Soulless Oracle Think Tank, which was my main Oracle Think Tank for a long time until the Magus came out. Um, so but I took it apart and I put back Amaterasu because when Set 13 came out, I was lucky enough to pull the, the alternate art. Uh, I guess this is like a secret rare. I think it's like one for every 16 boxes. I was lucky enough to get one of these. I think this was in my last, my fourth catastrophic outbreak box. I pulled this. So I'm going to put the CEO Amaterasu deck back together. Those of you that don't know, Amaterasu was my first Vanguard deck ever. Oracle Think Tank was how I started Vanguard. Um, so uh, this next couple of videos is going to be dedicated to the Oracle Think Tank clan. Uh, because it was always one of my favorite clans way back until Shadow Paladins kind of replaced them, uh, and then now Genesis has a lot of has basically taken over. Um, so anyway, for today we're gonna be doing well. I guess we'll do the Magus one today uh, because that's the one that, in my opinion, it's the most fun to play uh, because it's very unique. It has a very unique style. But anyway, I'll just get right into it. Uh, for grade three, I'm running hexagonal four hexagonal magus. Hexagonal magus is Oracle Think Tank's uh, break ride that they got when uh, Celestial Valkyries came out. I think it was called Celestial Valkyries. Maybe it was called Oh Mystical Magus. Mystical Magus. Celestial Valk Valkyries was the first uh, EB5, which was dedicated to Oracle Think Tank, and it, it was when uh, the original Battle Sisters and the reprint of Amaterasu came out. So. Well, anyway, so Oracle Think Tank got their break ride with the release of Mystical Magus in the form of Hexagonal Magus. And the other Vanguard I'm running is for Pentagonal Magus. Pentagonal Magus was the sneak peek promo uh, for Mystical Magus. So pretty much you had to go to the sneak peek to get this card um, otherwise, and trade for the rest of the copies. Otherwise, you just have to get it online, I guess, uh, or just buy single cards. Um, but anyway, this is a pretty good combo these two um but yeah moving on I guess I should well we'll just keep going like this for grade twos for Kua Magus Kua Magus is um well it's the 12k Magus attacker Not much more to say about it. And then for Stellar Magus, Stellar Magus is one of the main cards. I would recommend running three to four copies of this. Um, it's how you're able to combo your uh, your limit break skill with Pentagonal Magus to ensure that Pentagonal Magus will be able to get her uh, 5,000 and one critical. And then the other grade two, I'm running four Brulette Magus. You could run three of these and just run 11 grade twos. Because of the starter that I chose to go with, I am able. I, I do have a free open spot, so I could either take this out, run the other grade three, which would be Cylinder Magus, which I'm not using, um, which is just I think it's your generic uh, when it attacks a Vanguard, it gets 2,000, or it's when it's boosted, um, it gets 2,000. But it's not really necessary because I do have four Cooler Magus. So anyway, I'm running. I just decided to put in a 12 grade two rather than a 15th grade 1 or in a 9th grade 3. So for grade 1s, 4 of one of the coolest looking sentinels, Tetramagus. It's a new Oracle Think Tank sentinel, not new anymore, but relatively new. Uh, and then 4 Crescent Magus. Crescent Magus is another one that I think you really should try to run 4 of. Basically it is their 9k booster if you're able to basically declare the top card of your deck, reveal it if, it, if you call it right. Um, she gets plus 3,000 when she's boosting. And then for Circle Magus. Circle Magus is another card that you use to top deck 
look at the top deck of the card, and then put it back on the top of the deck. So it helps you set up for Pentagonal Magus. Uh, it helps you set up for Stellar Magus or Brulet Magus's effects, or even Crescent Magus to ensure that she's at 9k boost. Plus, she's a pretty good 7k booster, so obviously you want four of her. And then my remaining grade one is two Rippus Magus. If I was running 11 grade twos, I'd recommend running a third one of these. It's basically your 10k grade one attacker. It's not, it's not that necessary, um, but it does help you hit those numbers. Um, but it's it's just generic effect. And then for grade zeros, for the trigger lineup, four Miracle Kid for the draw. Four Psychic Bird Criticals is best critical trigger they have. Four Battle Sister Ginger. And last but not least, four Lozenge Magus. Each one is different. This one is from EB5. This one's from the trial deck. That's the rare one. And then we have BT1's rare and EB7's Mystical Magus reprint. So the, the starter I chose is Lozenge Magus. A lot of people say don't run Lozenge Magus starter because it's terrible. Uh, it's 3,000 attack. When it boosts, it goes back to the deck. Um, I disagree. I don't think they need Battle Sister Claire. Battle Sister Claire doesn't really have a purpose in the deck. Um, it does help you search for these, I, I do know that. It's a generic uh, grade 3 searcher. But it's really not necessary. Um, the nice thing about Lozenge Magus as a starter, like I said, it gives you an extra spot. You can run a 9th grade 3, or a 12th grade 2, or a 15th grade 1. So it helps ride consistency, sort of. Um, and other than that, it's a Magus. It's a heal that goes back into the deck. Um, so yeah, that was basically the deck. Let me know what you guys think of Magus in general. Um, I'm surprised that they don't do as well um, uh, in tournaments as they should because, or I guess they don't see that much play. But in my opinion, Magus is one of those under underappreciated clans, which is actually relatively good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments of this sub-clan, and I guess Oracle Think Tank in general. So if you liked the video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more Carpet Vanguard videos. Thanks.